Welcome back to Fox News at 4. Today we're taking a closer look at the signs and symptoms of a cancerous tumor known as sarcoma. July is Sarcoma Awareness Month, so we have Dr. Howard here from MCI uh, to talk more about what you need to look out for, and this is timely, especially with the amount of sun we've had. My first question is for people who don't know, what is sarcoma? Great question. Most people uh, that come to me with a sarcoma have never even heard of it. Mm. Uh, it's a very rare type of cancer. It only makes up about 1% of uh, cancers diagnosed annually in the United States. Uh, the way I like to think about it and the way I explain it to patients is that it is cancer of connective tissue. And what that means is these are tumors that come from muscle, bone, nerve, fat, mm. tissues like that. Usually most cancers you, you know come from the lining of something like colon cancer or breast cancer, uh, but these are a whole different type of cancer and, they, and because of that they behave a little bit differently. So in terms of the behavior, are the symptoms different too? Uh, they can be. Most sarcomas present as some kind of mass. Now okay. the interesting thing about a sarcoma is you can really get one anywhere in your body mm -hmm. from the tip of your head to the uh, you know the bottom of your feet, but mm -hmm. typically they do start in an extremity like your leg or an arm. Um, I take care of something called retroperitoneal sarcoma, which mm -hmm. can be, you know, basketball or watermelon sized tumors that develop mm. deep in your belly. Um, but a lot of times people will just notice a lump somewhere hmm. um, and usually it's kind of deep in the muscle. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of times uh, people are referred with uh, benign lumps that's much more common, but occasionally it's the real thing uh, and you want somebody that has experience taking care of sarcoma because we know that uh, because of the rar rarity of this disease, the more experience your physician has, the better you're likely to do. So the symptom that you're talking about with the lump, is that something that develops later on or will you notice that right away? What should a person look for? Um, it, it usually is kind of a, a slow ongoing thing, particularly um, you know, if, if something enlarges quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is not like a, a bump or a pimple on your skin. This is usually something deep down um, in your muscle or mm -hmm. tissue. So it might feel like a, a knot or something like that. Uh, but if you notice that it doesn't go away, if it continues to grow, mm -hmm. a lot of times for these big tumors that people have in their belly, they may say, oh, I'm trying to lose weight, but right. my belly keeps getting bigger. Uh, those are usually some of the things that will tip off the, the physician to investigate a little more closely. And last question, because we're out of time, what do you want people mostly to take away from this? I think if you're diagnosed with a sarcoma, the mm -hmm. important thing is to find uh, a physician who has experience with this, like okay. our team at the Mitchell Cancer Institute. Uh, we know that when you're treated with physicians with experience, you're much more likely to have a better outcome when facing this disease. All right, thank you, Dr. Howard. And of course, we're gonna have this interview posted on Fox 10 News, the YouTube page. So if you haven't already, subscribe and look for this interview shortly again. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.